beautiful people. Uh, so today we're going to be making feet hoofs. Now I've made a couple of these and I finally got the hang of it. <laughs> and I'm really enjoying these. I only have one spot left for half rice feet hoofs. Um, and five spots for um, half rice feet paws. <laughs> And the way I work it out is I calculate how much it would normally be and then I half the price and then at the end I give you the shipping cost unless our shipping is discussed beforehand. <laughs> Feel free to message me on my social medias if you would like to get yourself some. So I've already cut out the pieces um, with the fur but I haven't done it with what I'm going to be using this time is Minky because we want it dark brown. Let's get started. So the pattern we are going to be using is the Mizuara Cosplay. I'm sorry if I don't say that right. I'm terrible at expressing, expressing. Just talking in general and explaining. <laughs> um, but these are the sock hoof patterns. Um, so definitely go check those out. And with her video and my video combined, it should be super duper easy to make these for yourself. For this part, we only need a the front hoof piece and B. And then also, I would recommend keeping the placement guide next to you, which is this. Um, the list below tells you for one foot, so make sure you double what needs to be doubled. So with the bottom piece. I have already pre-shaved it, don't shave any of the other ones. If you're using fur for B and A, then I would recommend shaving those down just because it makes sense. <laughs> and then you also want to put in the little circles that I've put in here because we are going to a plaque these on rather than cut them out and sew them on just because it means it will 100% be in the correct place and it will just be a lot easier for you and this is the brown minky we will be using normally I would use anti pill fleece but this time I'm going to use minky uh, just because they had the really nice colour because I am using minky I need to take note of the direction the minky is going so let's cut these out Okay, so now that you've done <coughs> Hello <laughs> Okay, so now that you've done um, those You want to do the same with the rest I did forget to mention that you are going to need to flip half of them So two the right way and then flip and do two more Okay, everything is cut out and now we're ready to sew. I'm going to get the bottom hoof pieces. So for part B, you want the straight edge at the top. You want the curvy bit to be facing inwards. So with pieces A, you want the thin bit, the smaller bit at the top along the straight edge of B. Um, but you also want the curve to go against the curve of B. So like this. Firstly, we need the right sides together. I'm just gonna pin the top bit first. Then we're gonna clip the bottom piece because this part needs a little bit of stretching out. So, this is what we have now. But now we need to get it to go along the top edge. So what I do is I try and pull and reshape. And then once I see where the half point is and it's put together, I clip the middle bit together and then I do the same thing and clip the in between the middle of the bits if that makes sense. Now we're gonna sew these pieces together along the edge. So once you have sewn A and B together, now we're going to put the two pieces together and clip the top 
and make sure you put right sides together. If you're using anti-pill fleece and it's the same on both sides, it doesn't matter, but try and keep it the same as um, your other <laughs> seams because otherwise when you turn it inside out, you'll have one seam on the outside um, when it's supposed to be on the inside. <laughs> Okay, so now we have the front two pieces sewn and you can turn it the right way around and have a look and you can kind of see how it goes together and how it's going to work. Okay, so now you're going to want your bottom hoof pieces as well as your very bottom hoof pieces. <laughs> okay, this is what it's going to look like. So you just want to pin these right sides together and then sew them on. Okay. So now that it's put, let's sew it on. Now we're going to put the bottom parts of the feet to one side because we're going to work from the top down just because it's a lot easier. So you're going to want pieces E. Okay, and make sure the fair direction is going outwards, just like this, and then we're going to put the sides together, right sides together, pin and sew on both sides, and it should create like a little sleeve, a miniature sleeve. Now I'm going to sew these Now that these have been sewn, we are going to sew D and C together, just like this. We're going to pin it to pieces C first and then we're going to pin both D together. Ta-da! Let's sew. Now we are going to sew these pieces to us. It's easier if I show you the backing. Uh, so now we're going to sew these pieces, so the top pieces together, and create another little sleeve. Now that these pieces are sewn into a loop and these pieces, we are now going to put them together. So remember which direction the fur is going in for both of these so they're the right way up so you're gonna get this piece and you're gonna pin the right sides together so it goes like this it doesn't necessarily matter if the seams aren't um, on the sides bearing in mind this is the front of the hoof um, but it is probably best I would say so everything's uh, pinned. Uh, to make this easier, I like to push that bit through and now it creates this little hoop. I just find it easier to go around putting it through the machine like this rather than having it out and trying not to sew it all together like in the wrong places. You have your piece sewn. Um, I'm just going to turn it back the right way around and just give it a brush, see if I can brush everything out of the seams. You have this bit where it all connects, well, it all connects, but it's straight, <laughs> whereas the back bit's curved. So the front bit we are now going to sew. So this one. We need the flat bit at the top with the small bits of the A against here. 
right sides together. So what I do is I get the um, one of the edges, line it up with the other edge on here because this is going to need some pulling and alterization. Then I'm also going to pin the other side to the other edge, the brown bit, which is the pieces where A has joined together with itself. <laughs> um, we are now going to find the middle bit of C and we're going to line those up and pin those. A at the top has been squished together. This is meant to happen. And then we have the sides pinned here. And this is what it looks like on this side. Okay, now we're going to push the flat in and clip it in the middle of the clips. It just makes it easier the more clips you have as well. There we go. It should all line up really easily if you um, have squished like the middle seam allowances together. Now we've sewn it on, you kind of get the gist of what it's going to look like. Before we sew the bottom foot on, I totally forgot, we are going to add the little circle pieces on. Uh, with Apex, so I'm just going to get the Minky. Remember to take note of the fur direction, even with Minky. So I'm just going to cut out a rectangle. Eh. You want it larger than the circles and maybe a little bit wider than the hoofs uh, base. Um, okay, and then you're going to place the right side down. And then you're going to put right side down on top. So it's like this, and like this, and now I'm just going to, with the sewing machine, follow the lines that I have put on uh, the base, um, and then once I've sewn both of those, I'll turn it over, trim around it, and it's perfectly in place. This is what it looks like on this side, and this is what it looks like on this side. Make sure you take your time when doing it, just go slow. I literally press the pedal down, stop, turn, press it, turn. Whenever you do turn, make sure the needle is in the fabric so it doesn't go wonky. Now we can cut it out. Now, so basically because we followed the guide, it's pretty much exactly how it should be and it hasn't moved. I always find that if you just cut it out, pin it, and then try and sew around it, it kind of shifts place and it can look really wonky. Whereas doing it like this, you basically get it perfect every time. We are now going to sew it to our other piece. Right, you want to make sure it is right sides together. And what I like to do is get where the hoof and the fur join and join it up where the hoof and the fur join here because it should all line up really well. Okay, ta-da! It's completely pinned all the way around so we're basically just gonna sew it on all the way around. together we're like almost finished now you want to turn it inside out well the right way around make sure you poke out um, all of the little pieces <gasps> these look so cute okay and I'm just gonna give it a brush over now we get to stuff the poop. The poop? The hoop.
Now we're gonna do the lining. So with the lining, you want to use your hand, <laughs> wear the lining like a glove. Okay, so you want to wear it like this and then you're going to just kind of put your hand into the hoop and push the lining inside underneath the stuffing. Now you just want to put clips, you want to make sure that the seams are one at the back and one at the front because that's the way um, the foot is going and then you just want to hand sew around it doesn't have to be neat because we are going to put bias binding on um, if you don't know how to put bias binding on it should be at the end of my hand pour making video 